and welcome back to another video. We are doing an acrylic pour, yes, that's why we are stood here, and we are going to be doing another Pantone selection for colours. So if you've not watched one of these Pantone videos yet, we have a little bit of a theme going on with these uh, acrylic pour videos where I use this Pantone uh, colour palette book to decide my colour palette for some acrylic pour coasters um so basically the book contains a variety of color selections like this in sets of four so i just flick through and let whatever i land on choose our color palette for the coasters so let's get through and do it now so i'm not going to look we're going to select and Oh, it's a grayscale. That's very nice. That's going to be an interesting one. Um, that's going to be very nice. I think that'll be quite a popular coaster set, to be honest. So let's just get on with it. Let's just let's just go and mix these colours up and pour. All right. So I have mixed up all the colours. We have. I don't mind the quantity of this white i'm doing a few pours today and i need a lot so i've got the white i have the bone white which i actually made out of bleached titanium with a touch of black in there to make it more of a gray white then we have the what have they called it gray violet a little bit of a purpley gray and then we have midnight black which i've i have in a tube because i have done something else with some black recently um and then i chose to pour on these hexagon coasters i recently managed to find a seller of them unfortunately they came with the cork backings already on so i've had to mask all the back um so that i don't get um, paint all over the cork um but that's why they are hexagon <laughs> and not circular or square so I've got all the paint mixed up. I think I'm just going to do equal parts of all the colours. I do think that that bone white will be somewhat covered when um, when it's mixed. I think you won't see it quite as much as maybe we'd like. Um, and I do think I'm going to hold back on the black a touch just because I think that might overpower as well. So let's do a base of white in these. Then I think let's go grey. Like I said, I'm going to do equal parts of all of these, maybe a touch less black. Then I think the bone white just to separate. Then the black. So this black. I believe has a touch of um, kind of a silveriness to it, I believe. Well, maybe this isn't the same one as that. Never mind, scrap what I was just about to say. Um, <laughs> it's just straight black, so that's good. Okay, and now I'm gonna just repeat that same, um, the same amount, just the white, the gray, the bone white, and then the black again. And then I'll bring you in a close up for the actual paw. All right, let's do this first one together and then we will time lapse through the rest. Oh, nice, we've got some lovely striation there. The, I did put some silicone oil in this and it's already selling, I've not even touched it. I don't feel like I even need to touch it. <laughs> it's, it's actually looking very, very nice. I like it. I'm just gonna tip it over these corners, I think, just cause it's not going over them very well. Um, get those over there. Sometimes you've got to just coax it over um, because it's it's being stubborn and running where it's already run. So if it's not gone over those corners, it will continue running down the sides. So if you just give them a little tap and get that painted to go over, you usually can shift it a little like this. Beautiful. I think there's some lovely colours in there. That um, that grey violet's really standing out. Ooh, okay. So as you can see, the bit of that uh, bone white has come through as well. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I'm not going to tip anymore. I think that looks 
nice like that. I've got a feeling that when I um, when I sell this, it's gonna it's gonna look beautiful. Let's sell that together, and then, like I say, I will um, do the rest on time lapse. Here it is. Just looking for that. Sorry, there's a bit of reflection, but I need the um, the light on here. It's quite dark out today. Okay, so we're getting a few cells there. Less than I thought we would get, actually. But. Looks nice, still looks nice. Okay, I'm not going to do too much because we don't want to damage the paint. But as you can see here, there's some lovely um, bone white coming through. You've got the pure white. The black is definitely a little less existent, but I did put less in there. So maybe I should have stuck with the same quantities of each colour. Um, but it has mixed with the white and created this deeper grey. So I guess you can say that's the, the black there. But I think that looks lovely. I really like that. Okay, let's do the rest on time lapse and see how they all turn out. So there we go. You can't really see very well because I've got the um, background around it, but I will show them in another clip after this when they are dry. But I think, let me put this here, I think the colours we've done match perfectly we've got that bone white coming through just very subtly uh, maybe less so in this one you've got that nice gray violet you've got the white and you've got the black i think i think it's turned out really really well and i really like them i think this is a beautiful little set of coasters and i think someone will love these very much so so um i think that's a success like i say i will show you once they are dry to see how they have settled but i think all in all it's a very very good um success